I'm Barbara Gaines, and today on the show we have Paul Schaefer and David. Thank you. Blair. Nice Hi, to Paul. be here. Good to have you. Thank back. you, Good to see you David. Back. It's nice to see you. And I heard it's... Paul might drop in. That's why I came to be on the show today. Thank yeah. you. Barbara. Yes. Don't take it uh, the wrong way. But no, no. Very exciting. Paul. Always to have Paul. Yeah. Now I was thinking of a song. Uh, somebody who had been on the show singing. Oh, David Bowie. Was David oh. Bowie on our show? Yeah, show? yes, yes. Many times, three times, four times? Well, I'm not sure. I yeah. remember really one. Do you remember what he sang? No. Did you throw that in, Walter, right now? Let's look at that now. The late Prince was on the show, and um, he... he I don't know. He had some sort of a seizure, mm -hmm. uh, and you had to run backstage to check on him. But he turned out he was okay. <laughs> so you shouldn't be laughing at it because the man's dead. Yeah, yes. he didn't really have a seizure. Well, something happened. No, no, he just wanted well, to leave. Well, I've read, he just wanted you know, to leave. <laughs> you know what? What I've read, I, there's lots written on him, lots of literature, and apparently, he doing our show, if I may, was not his favorite. Experience well, is that a fact? This is what I've read, and I I don't want to be quoted. You know, no, yeah, you know how much I love Prince. Well, we all love Prince. Yeah, uh, but he preferred, and I think it was kind of well known that he preferred a gentleman on the other coast, on the west coast. Well, he, he'd rather be on J. He went on Leno. Ah, and he kind of you know, as you Leno would have with certain entertainers, kind of had a little friendship, a relationship going. What I read was they didn't want to really talk to you at the end. He didn't want that moment <laughs> where this I came is, over. When you came over. I this, remember. Is, this is brand new to me. Okay, I'm just so reading it from a, year, from a blog. I don't know about the J stuff, but I remember that he didn't want to talk and so made believe something was wrong. Well, he just, <laughs> you know, I, uh, I thought at the time it was part of the, the number, yeah. the drama of the number that he had died whether as a performer given his all or the drum of the lyric, whatever it was, and a bodyguard came, one or two of them, and just took him and grabbed him and dra dragged him out. So that right. when you and came I, I, over... I'm alarmed, yeah. When you came over, there was... Well, first of all, there was nobody to tell, you know. Wow. Now, this is absolutely a true story, and I've never really told this, but, but it, I went to see him in Las Vegas when he had a residency going at the Rio. I managed to get tickets to this thing. It might have, maybe it was oh. his second night wow. before closing up this residency. I went to the club 3 a.m. Now I'm at the club where he comes on and does, a, it's supposed to be Jip Prince does some cool jazz. He comes on with a full on show, just a second, except in a smaller room now. And now it's 5 a.m. and I get that wonderful message, Prince inviting you up to this suite. Oh, that's exciting. It, it, totally exciting. It was a very subdued crowd. Prince, two lovely Australian gals, a DJ, you know, a female DJ, of course, and um, a huge screen. He was watching back the show. And he was just a really, really normal guy, mm -hmm. you know, and was expressing he had had a lot of fun, you know, doing the Vegas thing, but it might be, might be shutting down. Uh, and I just had a wonderful year. I'd never been able to interact with him at all, uh, even the times that he had done the show. Uh, but at 7 a.m., they were ordering breakfast and asking me what I want. But I said, you know, I got to... The family were back at the room over the, at the win. Okay, so now we cut to a thing. And this is, you could back this up. I've seen this, I, I, I think maybe on YouTube. Uh, Prince's appearance on Leno. Not too much, not too 
much after that. Where he performed, Leno came out, they had a great interaction. Prince was holding a sign and it said, Leno was the best even Paul Schaefer knows. What a, a thrill and I, you know, mysterious <laughs> thrill and crazy. That's Again, wild. this is all new to me. Uh, and that's fantastic because that, that after the show experience is kind of what you live for. To, to, to do the really early morning To show. do this in Vegas. Yeah, right. be a well, I, that's what I pretend to live for, but really I couldn't stay up. I was <laughs> absolutely <laughs> exhausted, like a zombie. And, and, but this is great because I had no knowledge that there was this enmity for, me, for Prince and myself. I, I, what did I do? And then the other thing that's interesting to imagine, uh, Jay, I, I, if you gave me a list of a thousand people that were friends with Jay, I don't know that I would find Never Prince on that. It, it seems like an, an unlikely friendship. No insult to either man. It right. just seems incongruous. Okay. I mean, I'm not disagreeing. <laughs> well, but does that mean at the end, just that Dave's a little courtesy? How, how much of those drums that is that <laughs> is that what he wanted to avoid or or did he say he wanted to avoid a whole interview there was, i must have offended him over the years because this sounds like it was building and building and building or maybe it was that very but, show. but you're you're uh, he invites you to the big show so that's great for you holds up the sign uh, avowing how great you slamming. are. Yeah, yeah but me, you. I take it right on the chin. Slam, Speaking of slam. chins. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Yeah. The purple one slammed you. There's this no, is great. There's this, no uh, way around it. Was this in your book? You should put that in your book. In the it, next one. It was after, yeah, I would have to yeah. go in the next one. Yeah. You it's know what, I was wondering for another it's show. all I know. Uh, all. We put together great. a list of people, musicians, specifically musicians, who did not like being on our show. Okay. Because I didn't realize Prince. So now in my head, I have three. I have uh, Garth Brooks, didn't want any part of us. Yeah. Uh, Mark Knopfler, oh. no, no thanks. And now Prince, had no idea. Well, Mark Knopfler did do it. Once. One, yeah. Yeah. Back in the day, didn't yeah. have a good time. Ba back in the 6A at NBC. Oh, I guess he oh. didn't have a good time. Uh, no, sorry, yeah. So uh, next time, Paul, we'll have to load up another good showbiz story. Well, you don't have to load anything up. The man is show business story. I, I know, he's got nothing but. Yeah. Oh, well, thank I wonder, you. I wonder if Paul's appearance on the show is too late to save this little uh, lifeboat thing you're running. No, Paul's going to save the whole thing. Ooh, one hopes. Yeah, he will. All right, thanks. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Don't forget to slam and watch and all that. Subscribe. Everybody, first hundred subscribers gets a car. No, that's not true. Gets a brand new car. Nope. Yeah. Uh, ba, 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 no, no, no. Ba, 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 no, you get nothing. <laughs>